Hello everyone and welcome to my new video of Python full stack course for beginners. So let's get started. So guys, it's been a while since I uploaded a video because you know I had exams and your boy needs to study. So my exams are over. So let's get with our AI chatbot. So today we are gonna create some search function. So for that, like always, we need to install some modules. So I'm gonna say pip install Google search Python. So make sure you spell it correctly. I've already installed it. And YouTube search. It is also installed and I'm gonna say pip install Wikipedia. And it is also installed. So we are done with the modules. And after that, firstly, we're gonna import our web browser. So web browser is a default inbuilt module. So you need not to install it. So I'm gonna say from, I would, I would rather say from my YouTube search import for me youtube search so this is a class and i'm gonna say from my google search import for me my search so these are two functions which we'll be using for you know um searching youtube and google so the, these both of these are going to provide us the link and we're going to open these those link through our web browser now we're going to import our wikipedia now let's create let's start with the functions so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create vanilla statement and I'm going to say if search Google is in my query and what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly speak out. So I'm going to say what do you want to search sir? I'm going to copy it, paste it over, make it print. And after that happens, I want to again call my function. So basically what will be happening is I'm going to say like Alicia search Google for me. And Alicia is going to say, what do you want to search, sir? Then we are going to provide her the query, like, um, wh wh what exactly do we want to search? So this is a more efficient way. Now I'm going to say my result is equal to my search, which I just now, you know, imported. And I'm going to say query, like it asks for the term. So I'm going to search for my query. And another will be my max result, my random result. So I'm going to set my num results to three. I want three results, but still I'm going to open only one URL. So what will happen is like if the first URL is not exactly what we want, then it is still going to print other URLs in the terminal so that we can just press control and just click on them so that we can have other results as well. So this is going to provide us a list. So I'm going to say my web browser dot open. So it is just going to open through a default web browser. I'm going to say result, which is a list, and I'm going to open my first result. And I'm going to speak as well. And I'm going to print out my, I'm going to print out my result, sorry. So now result is a list. So we are going to print our result with this asterisk in the front. So we have done this function before. If you haven't seen my previous videos, go check them out. And I'm going to separate them by a backslash in so that every link is printed in different lines. Now let's try this function out. Good morning, sire. How can I help you at the moment? Okay, search Google for me. What do you want to search, sire? Who is the richest person in the world? Opening Google. And it's opening Forbes. And as you can see, my net sucks at the moment. Sorry, couldn't recognize. Could you speak that again? We have got the other links as well. And as you can see, the bot keeps on running, which is a bit annoying. We can see so we can create one another command like to not listen to a commands for a specific time, like stop listening. And we'll be doing that in the future videos. For now, I'm going to continue with the search stuff. So it worked fine and, and it even gave us other links in the terminal. So I'm just going to copy it. So I'm going to do exactly the same for YouTube, just a couple of stuff will be different. So I'm going to say YouTube and I'm going to say, what do you want to watch, sire? What do you want to watch, sire? And we're going to use one different function, which is YouTube search. And I'm going to pass in my query, which will be my search item. And I'm going to set my max results to one. I want only one video. It's totally dependable on you. Like, what do you want? I'm going to change it to dictionary. So this will return me a dictionary. Now, what I'm going to do is I don't need this. Actually, don't need both of these anymore. Now I'm going to change my result 
to my result at zero index and url subject so what this i'm doing basically is you can print this result out to know what i'm doing so it will have a list inside the dictionary and that list will have different key value pairs so i'm getting a key value pair named url suffix so url suffix won't be having any youtube.com and we require that so i'm going to say my result is equal to youtube.com plus result so that is all so we have got our links so we can say web browser dot open and i'm going to open my result so this should work fine and i'm going to say opening youtube now let's try running it i want to search youtube what do you want to watch sire brackies opening youtube and it opens youtube and as you can see it opened up brackies i just search brackies i'm gonna kill everything up so it also works fine now let's create one function for wikipedia i'm gonna copy all of it paste it over leave one line and i'm gonna say i'm gonna remove everything and just leave wikipedia and i'm gonna say what do you wanna wikipedia now once that happens we know what the person want to search wikipedia for we're going to use our wikipedia module so i'm going to say wikipedia dot summary so the summary is going to give us the summary of my query and i want the sentences to not be more than three so you can change it according to yourself i guess three sentences would be fine for me now this is going to return as a text so we need not to have any web browser for that i'm just going to print out my result and i'm gonna say according to wikipedia plus my result so i'm also gonna add one comma here so that it takes a pause after this so let's try running it good morning sire how can i help you at the moment i want to search some wikipedia what do you want to wikipedia brackies according to wikipedia a bracket is either of two tall for or back facing punctuation marks commonly used to isolate a segment of text or data from its surroundings. So it works fine as you can see. Now it's time for Spotify. So guys, I have used Spotify API but it was not so good because we have to open Spotify by ourselves and it just creates playlist and plays songs for us. So I thought it would be better if we just ask from the user like which, like which particular song he she wants and we can play for it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the link of the spotify according to the name the user provided and we're gonna open it in our google so this is yet another challenge for you guys to do it and i'll see you guys after the challenge okay so i hope you guys were able to figure out the challenge so let's see how can we do it so i'm just gonna copy this part paste it right over and i'm gonna say listen music and i'm gonna say what do you wanna listen and we now this query will return us the name of the song so i'm going to say my song link is equal to a string with https spot open dot spotify dot com dot search and i'm gonna concatenate it with my query which is my song name so it is gonna give us the link of the song and it will open in our default browser now i'm gonna say web browser dot open my song link and I'm gonna say speak opening Spotify. Now let's try running it. Good morning, sire. How can I help you at the moment? I want to listen music. What do you want to listen? 2002. Opening Spotify. As you can see, it opens my Spotify web player. And there was some problem with my Spotify web player, but you can try it for yourself. It works fine and it is brilliant, I would say. I'm gonna kill it and that's all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't subscribe and share for more and i'll see you guys in the next video